Barbie family, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about last minute Valentine's Day gifts using Dollar Tree products. Most of these gifts are good for any age group. They are great for, it doesn't matter, like your boyfriend, girlfriend, your friend, your grandma. There's something for everybody in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. I'm very, very close to hitting a million subscribers and I would love to do that. So make sure you subscribe if you like Dollar Tree type of content. With that being said, let's begin. Dollar Tree right now has these small little gumball machines in that are perfect for children or to give out to a classroom. It would get a little pricey, so for sure you probably want a smaller classroom to do that with. The little holes at the bottom of the gumball machine are only meant for very tiny candies so instead kids will have to twist off the top I put gumballs inside of one some Tootsie Rolls that I found at Dollar Tree inside of another conversation hearts a bunch of different ideas with this you could write on the front of these for whoever you're giving it out to and I think that would be a really cute idea this is kind of a candy holder version that is better for an adult and what you can do is just get some glass pieces from Dollar Tree and fill it up with candy I was able to find this lid that fits perfectly over this glass from Dollar Tree and I just filled it up with some gumballs and the other one with conversation hearts and then placed the smaller little glass on top of the bigger glass cup. To make this look a little bit more Valentine's like, I got these wooden pieces from Dollar Tree. I went ahead and I cut the twine that's on the top in half so that I could tie it around my glass piece. These are so cute. These kind of remind me of something that you would see inside of a candy store or inside of an ice cream shop. We have all seen the cheese and meat charcuterie boards, but you can do one for Valentine's Day just by going to Dollar Tree and picking up a bunch of different Valentine's Day pieces. I got a bamboo board from Dollar Tree and I placed these cookies I got from Dollar Tree on top of my board. I also found these pretzel rods that are really pretty. I put a pack of those on top of the board. I found some bigger chocolate shapes at Dollar Tree and I decided to add those to the board and they take up a good amount of space on the board, which is nice. Just have fun with this, do what is within your budget. I got these cherry jelly hearts as well and then the last thing I added were some junior mints. And you don't have to go to just Dollar Tree. You can find 99 cent Valentine's Day candy at both Target and Walmart. And now it's cheaper to get some of the candy there than go to Dollar Tree. This is one of my favorite gift ideas from last year. All you have to do is pick up a piece of foam board at Dollar Tree and then write out a poem. You will use pieces of candy as words in the poem. Now I do recommend actually going again to like Target or Walmart for your box candy now. It's 99 cents there. You're paying a dollar and 25 cents now at Dollar Tree. But the foam board at Dollar Tree is still a really, really good price. You'll then either tape or glue down your candy pieces. If you glue them down, use your hot glue gun on the low heat setting. I then added a couple of DIY stickers to this from Dollar Tree that are in the shape of a heart just to make this pop a little bit more. I think this is such a great idea, especially for somebody who loves sweets. This is another easy idea. Dollar Tree right now has these envelopes in. They are just decor pieces. You'll take the paper out and then use a chalk marker or a paint pen to go ahead and write out to who the envelope is for and who it is from. I also added a little bit of like a stitching design around the envelope just because I thought it looked cute. I got these heart stickers from Dollar Tree. I placed one on the front of the envelope and then I put in some pictures. Now to keep the pictures in place, I used a couple more of those stickers and I did this on purpose so that when it is gifted all the pictures don't go to the bottom of the envelope and you can't see anything. This is a great little add-on to maybe a bouquet of flowers or some candy. If you're gonna give it just like this as is maybe throw in a little love note. I think anything is better with a love note. If you want to take up your grocery store flowers up a notch, you can go ahead and get some planters from Dollar Tree. Right now they have this really nice black one in and what you'll do is you'll cut down your flowers. I did mine super short so just the roses were popping out of the planter. So you'll cut them at an angle so that they get a good amount of water. Then place a piece of wet floral foam which you can find at Dollar Tree inside of your planter. The wet floral foam will help Help the uh, flowers stay alive longer. They have a source of water. I ended up using regular foam. I don't recommend that. It's just all I had on hand. You want to get wet floral foam or you don't have to use foam at all. The nice thing about foam though is it keeps the flowers in place. 
So you can leave the arrangement as just this, or you can buy some pieces from Dollar Tree like these small little balloons and add that to your arrangement. It brings it up another notch. And doing this is going to save you so much more money than going to a floral shop or the grocery store and buying it already made. Dollar Tree also has really pretty glass vases. I did an arrangement with that, and this time around I added a heart pick from Dollar Tree and a teddy bear. If you rather go the route of using fake flowers, Dollar Tree carries those as well. I will say this, you get more bang for your buck if you go to Michaels or Hobby Lobby and get fake flowers there, especially with this price increase. With the fake flowers from Dollar Tree, I did a combination of red and white roses, and then I placed a bear on top of this, and this is still super, super cute. You can make a really easy candy bouquet by getting something to hold the candy at Dollar Tree. I got this box, but it's like a cardboard box, so it's very stiff, which is good for something like this. And if you're going to get your candy at Dollar Tree, I recommend getting candies that are the miniature versions, but more come in a pack. That way you can make multiple ones of these. And also these are cheaper to get at Dollar Tree versus the grocery store. Whereas I said before, it's cheaper to get the boxes and individual pieces at grocery stores now. So that the candy stays upright and doesn't fall all inside of the box I'm going to be using balloon sticks that I got at Dollar Tree I go ahead and I cut them down to be smaller and then I take tape and tape the pieces of the candy to the balloon sticks I then place a piece of styrofoam inside of my bag you don't have to do this but the nice thing about doing this is the pieces of candy stay exactly where you want them to stay so you can do a really nice arrangement so I added two bigger full-size candies to the back for the height and then the rest were smaller pieces of candy. To make this look nicer and to hide the sticks, I went ahead and used some decorative shred that I got at Dollar Tree. I just fill it up and hide, like I said, any of those sticks that are showing. I then got these lollipops from Dollar Tree as well, and I placed a few of those inside of my bouquet, and that's how I made this candy bouquet. It's really, really cute. It's easy to do, and this is all the candy I had left over to make another one, and this is how much shred I had left over. Let's make a balloon bouquet. Dollar Tree right now has these air filled balloons and what you do is you just blow into them using the stick that comes with them. So I'm going to use one of the love ones. You just blow right into it. It's really easy to do. Then I picked up these latex heart balloons at Dollar Tree and I also am going to be using these balloon sticks from Dollar Tree. So basically I fill these up with air and then I tie them around the balloon stick. So that way I don't need helium to make them float, but they're still kind of like floating. You, you see what I'm doing? You just tie the end of the balloon around this piece that comes on the balloon stick and then attach that to the actual stick itself. I picked up a red planter from Dollar Tree and placed a piece of styrofoam inside of it. Then I start to add my balloons. I did cut off some of the height on the balloon sticks so that the balloons would vary in height and it would just look nicer that way versus them all being the same height. I then used some balloon glue dots to attach my love balloon to the front of my heart balloons. Mess around with your arrangement and then the last thing you could do if you want to is add some of the bears from Dollar Tree. I think this is such a cute touch. It's really easy to do yourself. Trust me, you guys, and you're going to save so much more money than going to the store and buying a balloon arrangement. This is another area where you could save money by making your own fruit bouquet instead of going to like edible arrangements. Pick up some fruits at your local grocery store. I decided to do some chocolate covered strawberries because those are my favorite. So you just melt the chocolate, dip the strawberries inside of the chocolate, Dollar Tree has bamboo skewers, but they're thinner. So instead, I went with some that I got at the grocery store for 99 cents. I dipped those inside of the chocolate, and then that was it. I also got this white chocolate drizzle at the grocery store, and you just drizzle it over the chocolate strawberries, and it just adds a cool design without you really having to do anything or even know what you're doing. I used a heart-shaped cookie cutter to push through some pineapple so I could get some heart-shaped fruit, and then I just placed, again, my bamboo skewers through the fruit. And I also did some pieces that had some berries on it. Originally, I was just placing all of my fruit inside of this glass vase that I got at Dollar Tree, but I didn't like the way that the skewers look. So I took some pink straws that I got from Dollar Tree and fed my skewers through the straw. And I just like the way that this looks so much better. 
like if the glass isn't clear then the skewers I'm sure will look fine but I just like the way that this looked like I said I then tied a little bow around my glass and this is just how I did a fruit arrangement it was really inexpensive to do and saved me so much more money than doing like an edible arrangement which I don't even know how much that stuff cost Dollar Tree right now has these cardboard buckets that are great and they're two for a dollar what you can do is make a movie bucket so just place some decorative shred inside of the bucket add some candy and some popcorn Dollar Tree has DVDs you can place inside of the bucket or you can get a gift card to a movie theater and have a little date night I ended up getting this movie please let me know if you've seen it it's the worst movie ever movie 43 at Dollar Tree and I bought it because I made snap see that movie when we first started dating so I bought it as a gag gift Another good idea for adults is to pick up a glass. Dollar Tree has this one that says, love the wine you're with. Fill it up with some decorative shred and then place some things inside of there. So for this glass, I did some of the pretzel rods from Dollar Tree and then some chocolate bars that I also got from Dollar Tree. Another idea you can do is get a bottle of wine at your local grocery store or the sparkling juices that Dollar Tree carries and place that inside of the glass. If you get a bigger bottle of wine, it's not gonna fit in this glass, but you can pair it with the glass just, just by you know putting them inside of a bag and they just go together. Now this is not from Dollar Tree. It is a tear tray I got at the Bullseye Playground of Target for $5, which I think is a really good price. I saw this and I was like, it would look so cute with the Dollar Tree cookies on top of it so I wanted to share this with you guys because I think this is a cute idea if you want to put this on your desk if you're a teacher and have the cookies there obviously you probably want them individually wrapped um, and not take them out of the packaging but I did that for the video so you can really see just how cute it is I also got like frosted cookies at Walmart for two dollars and ninety seven cents and they're really really cute and I don't know I just think it's a cute idea I just think that the cookies and the pretzel rods Dollar Tree got in this year are really nice. And so I think they just make great gifts. So I ended up getting the scallop container from Dollar Tree. They actually have them in pink, blue, and purple right now. I put some decorative shred at the bottom and then I placed pretzel rods inside of there. Now again, you might want to keep them individually wrapped, but for video purposes, I took them out just so you can see how cute it is. And obviously if you're packing this for somebody else you probably want to wear gloves or wash your hands thoroughly before touching open food i used some of the dollar tree cookies inside of this just to make it cheaper um if i used a bunch of the pretzel rods i would have need to buy more packs and since they're so thin i was going to need a lot more to cover up the inside of this so i just placed a couple of cookies a lot of girls love makeup. Not everybody, but a lot of girls do. And right now, Dollar Tree is carrying this cosmetic case that is the cutest. They also have makeup brushes right now that you can find five for a dollar and 25 cents. These are from Dollar Tree. I place those at the bottom of this case. I add a box of chocolate. This chocolate is from Target and it was 99 cents. And it's better than the Palmer's chocolate. It is from Russell Stover. I threw a little Dollar Tree beauty blender in here to fill up the case a little bit more I added two more of those chocolates that are from Dollar Tree and then some of the lint chocolate I got these pink ones that I thought would look nice inside of here you can throw in a you know Sephora gift card an Ulta gift card there's so many things you can do but this is just an idea to do a different type of Valentine's Day basket that's not just getting like an actual basket and filling it up with stuff if you want to do a more traditional basket Dollar Tree does carry baskets that you can buy right now with the Valentine's Day theme again put the decorative shred inside of there to make it look you know more put together I added this gnome that I got from Dollar Tree I really like it and the price point of it is still great with that 25 cent increase then I would just throw some candies inside of there some flowers it's just completely up to you but I feel like using these items from Dollar Tree is a great gift and if you want to add a gift card inside of there if you want to put another gift it's just a great basis to kind of display anything else you would want to give so that is it for this video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. Take care. Bye.